Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and we're here in Frisco, Texas, where the FCS championship game will take place Saturday, January 10th, between Illinois State and North Dakota State. Now, we're here at both teams' press conferences, pre- and post-practice press conference, so let's just jump right in with some of the sights and some of the sound. Well, I bet he took 25, 30 plays, or snaps. Did you say probable then? Or? Yeah, definitely probable. Okay. How important is it to get him that, that day in today uh, to be able to look at what he's going to feel like tomorrow? Well, I think it was important for him as well as our guys to see him with with the offense and then he moved in and out, but I thought he moved pretty crisply, so we'll see how he responds uh, tomorrow uh, after a day like this, but uh, I think doing this on Thursday gives him a great opportunity to play on Saturday. You guys have had several players over the last few years have injuries, try and come back during uh, this week and be here. Um, do you see that same tenacity to get back out there and how bad does he want to, to be a part of the game on Saturday? Oh, he wants to be a part of the game I and mean, it's his, his senior year and he gets a chance to go out with his uh, uh, classmates and uh, uh, he's an integral part of our offense and, and we've you know, been okay the last few weeks without him but we'd love to have him. Kerry Woods got carted off the field. How, what's he been like the last two, three weeks? He's been great. Uh, you know, I think it was a, a big scare for him, and uh, uh, he missed uh, three or four days after that, and then he's been working with us the last eight or ten practices, so he's 100%. And what exactly was the He had kind of a neck stinger, but okay. uh, there was no, no damage, no yeah. problems at all, obviously. Talk about uh, Trey Roberson. Uh, what challenges he presents, and is he similar to any other quarterback you've seen to his point? Well, no, he's he's different than all the guys we face. He's a, a great player, unbelievable player. He's a dual threat guy. He's playing with an awful lot of confidence. He can beat you with his arm, beat you with the leg, with his legs, and uh, you know he's gotten better as the season's gone on since he arrived on campus. I think uh, early on in the season, uh, they were just trying to see what he could do, and then. Especially in the playoffs, he's taking his game to the next level and he's playing with a lot of confidence. And uh, we're going to have a tough time trying to contain. Him. From what, from what you've seen, how much does his running ability open it up for Culprich? Oh yeah, he, they make each other go. Uh, I think the same thing you can look at is if Carson can run the ball a little bit, it makes Crockett better. I think any time that you have a, a quarterback with the mobility uh, that those guys have, it, it just helps your running game and uh, makes you, you know, not just defend the. the the, the running back part of the game, but you got to defend the quarterback in the read zone stuff, and I think it's uh, we're going to have our hands full. Especially, I think people in this area, in the Frisco area, are like, well, he gets used back again. Uh, assuming like you guys just are supposed to show up and be champions every year, but it's just not that easy. Just give them an idea of you know what it's taken just to get here. Oh, it's incredibly hard to get here. We we won two nail biters in the playoffs. Uh, to advance to the next round, and I guess the other thing people don't realize is uh, this is my first shot as the head coach of doing this. I've been an assistant here, but we've got a brand new staff, a lot of new players, and, and this just doesn't happen. Uh, it takes usually a while for players to gel with the staff and so on and so forth, but uh, I credit our seniors for uh, um, keeping this thing going. And we've been fortunate that balls bounced our way, but our guys have played exceptionally well and, and found ways to win. And I guess if you're a uh, championship caliber team, that's what you do, you find ways to win, but for those things were kind of in the past, we've got to be able to uh, line up on Saturday. Coach, obviously the um, when the 14th playoff and the you know FES came out, Baylor and TCU were co champs in the Big 12, they didn't get a chance to settle things out, but I guess yeah, you and Illinois State get to settle things out since you guys, but you guys think it's played in the season that they did. Yeah, no, we didn't, and uh, you know, we saw them on cross film a lot against other opponents in our league and uh, marveled at, at, at the talent they had both sides of the ball and uh, um, at the time we were like well that they're a great opponent It'd be fun to play those guys since we ended up both seven and one and then when we saw the brackets come out um, there was a chance we thought that uh, a couple valley teams could end up in the championship game and uh, the unfortunate thing is we had to play each other in that uh, in that second round and uh, in Ended up falling the way it is, and, and congratulations to Illinois State for being here and, and for our guys for making another run. You said physicality is big, but tangible on the field position-wise, where, where do they threaten you guys at all? Um, I think their offensive line is as good as we've seen all year. Very good. Very athletic and physical. Really like the back. Obviously, the quarterback is, is, is a very special player. I think he's a very special talent. Uh, the front seven on defense is, is, a, is, a, is a low. On the defensive coordinator by Trey, he's very good up front. Kyle Manuel is going to be a handful for us. So. <laughs> 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 a great team like this. They don't have a whole lot of uh, a lot of weaknesses.
Well, he came in July, you know, for our second, uh, our second uh, term in the summer. Um, it's been impressive to watch, you know. I spent two years of my life in the time. I think you can come and play at this level, you know, those are from the Missouri Valley, you know how tough a league this is. And he's been very, very humble uh, from the start. He's a great teammate, he's a hard worker, he's a kind of gym rat, he's an office rat, he's a great job. Uh, he came in as a backup, you know, and he had a winning job, he did that, he did do that. Uh, but it's been very impressive because you know, he's in a completely different, you know, I don't say completely, but a different offense, you know. No huddle offense is one which is based on speed, ours is more like NDSU, it's, 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 it's in the huddle, you, you got to get out of protection, you got to get out of good play or bad plays. You got to learn to do that under the, under, under the gun, and then about 40 degrees before the season started. You know. He got better and better as the season went on and started taking. Uh, I hope the defense gave him.